Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, it's me again, head coach um, of Walton Cricket Club. Uh, we, today what we plan to do is have a bit of fun actually. So we've got three drills, there's going to be three batting drills. Okay, you're going to have three balls. If you've got more balls, by all means, use them. Okay, as you can see in front of me, there's a table. Okay, and what we're going to work on is our front foot playing spinners as such. Okay, so playing ball a little bit later, play it underneath our eyes. Here's going to be a visual aid where the ball's going to come out later. So you've got to track it really late and play it underneath your eyes. Okay, so hopefully it's going to look a little bit like this. So again, as I said, you've got the table there. If you get someone to feed it for you, that would be brilliant. Okay, if you can get someone to feed you, it's a lot easier. Obviously, the drill would work that way a lot better. Okay, so it looks a little bit like this. So there, someone's going to throw underneath. Lovely, there we go. Again there, play it nice and softly. Again there, oh, try that again. Take two, oh, take three. We're having a bit of fun here, guys. It's all about having fun. Surely. Oh, she's bowled me. Oh no, take that again. That's not really great. Right, so with the table, okay, you can do it with a table or you can do it with a chair. But the ultimate aim is to track that ball and play it underneath your eye, play it nice and late. Okay, playing with soft hands, watching it all the way onto the bat. Okay, now, you can also, we're gonna work on a back foot shot as well. So, your partner or mum, dad, whoever is gonna try and hit the table, and we're gonna work on the back foot. Now, to start with, we're just gonna go nice and simple, get in behind the ball. Okay, hopefully, it looks a little bit like this. Lovely, good. Nice and light. Oh, that one didn't bounce as much. Okay, so that's a really good drill. You can do it a little bit faster. Okay, so you can get your mum or dad or whoever, brothers, sisters, feed it a little bit faster, then you can get in behind it and play. So just remember, we're looking to go back and across. Okay, back and across. Nice soft hands. There we go. Okay, now the final drill, which some of you may have seen before as well, is we're gonna just move the table out of the way. Just for a second. What you're gonna do? I've got three balls here. Okay, so I'm gonna go with multiple of the three if we can. What I'm gonna do is very simple. It's just a front foot shot. Some of you may have seen it before, some of you may have not, um, but it's a really good drill just to work your muscle memory. Okay, so all we're gonna do, you don't actually need anyone for this one. So if you wanna practice this at home on your own, by all means, do that. So all you're gonna do is throw the ball up. Top hand, nice and simple here. Throw it up again. There, bottom hand, and then last but not least, both hands. Okay, so ultimately when you're batting, we are trying to link our hands together. Okay, so we're trying to link our hands together. So it's our top hand coming down, forming that base. Our bottom hand again, thumb and index finger, playing with soft hands, looking for the control there. And last but not least, both hands working together. Okay, still trying to form a base, trying to stay in control. Okay, um, as we go into it, moving on from it, we're gonna look at little challenges again, as I said before, we need those challenges um, to keep us going. Uh, there will be some messages, uh, you'll see as the video goes into it. And for me, it's just stay positive, look out for these challenges, keep working hard, keep training, enjoy yourself. Make sure you make everything count. Thank you very much. Hi guys, Glamorgan, all rounder Dan Dalfoyt here. Just checking in on you all, hoping you're all well. Um, I've just got back from my run, so as you can see, I'm a bit sweaty, a bit red, a bit out of breath. But yeah, that's what I've been cracking on with at the moment. You know, I've been trying to go on a run pretty much every day and, you know, work on my fitness as much as I can. During these, um, uncertain time frames that we've been given really. Um, I'm lucky enough at home as well, I've got some weights, so I've been doing a lot of strength training as well. But even if I didn't, you know, you'd still be nailing your core, doing a lot of body weight stuff, and working on your fitness, there's no excuses during these times, we haven't got anything better to do, so we may as well be cracking on. And then, from a cricketing point of view, um, I've been bowling a few balls in the garden here and there, and, been lucky enough that my mum's had a bit of free time with work to chuck me a few tennis balls as well. So whoever you can grab, just get them to chuck you a few balls and 
bowl a few balls yourself and keep yourselves ticking over and you should be all good. There's no excuses, as I said, during this time. Not much else to do, have we? So don't sit inside all day, especially when the weather's like this. Um, and finally, just a message to you all, just, you know, stay safe, you know, work hard on your game, like I suggested, and use these tough times, you know, as an excuse to be around the ones that we love, you know, your friends and your family and those that you're living with, you know, stay close and, you know, enjoy our company because it's not every day you get to spend all of this time with them, you know, especially for me working away from home, it's good to come back, you know, and catch up with them for this long. So yeah, stay safe guys. Cheers. What's up guys, so your challenge today is going to be 10 punches and four jump squats. So we're going to start here, 10 punches, straight punches, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then we're going to go four jump squats, one, two, three, four, and then repeat. My name is Sajjad Hussain. I am a professional cricketer. I play three-stage cricket in Bangladesh. Under this crisis situation of COVID-19, government's guidance to fight the disease. While at home, I do some drills related to batting and bowling to keep me busy and fit. Best wishes to the member of Walton and Thames Cricket Club. Hi, this is Hayden Walsh Jr. and I'm sending my best wishes to the Walton and Thames Cricket Club and encouraging you to stay home and stay safe.